Alt key tips. I prefer Windows and I'm on Windows right now so I'm going to say Alt key. If you're on a Mac then the equivalent for the Alt key on Windows is Option on the Mac. So just keep that in mind. Whenever I say Alt, if you're on a Mac, it'll be Option. I'm sure most Mac users are already aware of that. So in previous videos, I've talked about the Alt key being sort of an All key, A-L-L, -L, All. And in this video, we're going to explore that just a little bit more. So let's get right to it. So a common task in Pro Tools, or any doll for that matter, is setting your I.O., your ins and your outs. Now the session I have in front of me here is relatively small. So while these shortcuts may not seem useful for such a small session, keep in mind that once your sessions start growing, larger and larger using the alt key shortcuts will really help cut down time. So for the first little tip, we'll be using the alt key when setting your ends. So here's a mono track and you can see we have a few mono tracks all lined up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, and 12 are mono tracks. We could go through and manually select what we want the input to be for each of these tracks. Say I want them all to be guitar in. Now this is going to take a while if you have a large session. A much faster and easier way would be to hold down the Alt key, then click your input path. We can now release the Alt key, go to Interface, choose Guitar In. You see instantly all of our mono tracks have changed to Guitar In, even these mono tracks over here in the aux and the instrument tracks, which are also mono. So that shortcut really helps cut down on time. It works the same for your stereo tracks. Here we are on a stereo track. and say we want all of them to be line input left to right. So we'll hold down Alt, click our input path, Release Alt. Here's the interface. We'll choose Line Input and instantly all of our stereo tracks have changed to Line Input left right. This also works for your output but slightly differently. So on our output here, let's say we want digital out left right for everything. So we'll hold down our Alt key, click our output path, Release Alt, Output, Select, and then all of our tracks have changed. Except of course for the master track, all of our tracks have changed to digital out left right, mono tracks and stereo tracks. So we'll change this back, hold down Alt, click our output path, main out left right, and we're right back where we really need to be. Now as cool as that little shortcut is, it gets even more useful when you start to use a modifier key to modify the Alt key. In this case our modifier key will be Shift. So let's show that here. I'll select track 1, I'm holding down Control now, I'll select track 3, track 4, and track 11. And say on track 1, 3, 4, and 11, I really want mic in to be the input. And then of course imagine I have 15 different tracks I need to switch to mic in. So I could go through and do each one manually. But that's going to take a few seconds. And if I just hold down the alt key and select mic in, then everything is changed to mic in. And that's not what we want. We only wanted our selected tracks to change to mic in. So we'll change all these back to guitar in. So now to change just the selected tracks to the mic in input, we'll hold down alt and shift. Holding down shift will modify the alt key or the all key. Holding down shift makes it all selected. So think of it that way. Think of shift as sort of a as sort of a select modification key to the alt key or option key if you're on the Mac. So we hold down alt shift, click our input selector, release alt and shift, interface and we want mic in. So there we go. Now we have just our selected tracks have changed to mic in. This also works on our outputs. So I'll hold down alt shift click our output selector and we'll change this to say reamp left right and they've changed to reamp left right just our selected tracks everything else is the same another thing you can do with the alt shift combination is even if a track is not selected say track 10 here is not selected I can still hold down alt shift and change the input here so say 11 rig left and even though track 10 wasn't selected the input did change to 11 rig left and in addition our selected rigs also change to 11 rig left for the input. Same works for your output as well on stereo tracks and your other tracks as well. Now using this alt or alt shift combination also works for our sins. So I'll hold down alt, release alt, we'll choose a bus say 1112 and now we have 1112 across all tracks including the stereo tracks. And say we change our mind and would like to remove all of these buses at once we'll hold down alt, release alt, no send, then they're all gone. Same applies with the alt shift. We'll select audio 2, Audio 5 and Audio 8. We'll hold down Alt Shift, click our send, choose a bus, say 1112, and then we have bus 1112 on just our selected tracks. And to get rid of these, we hold down Alt and no send, they're all gone. So you can see this is a very useful shortcut. We're not done yet. This also works for your plugins. So here we are on a mono track. We'll hold down Alt, click our insert, go to plugin, just choose this EQ, and there's our air kill EQ across all of our mono tracks. So if we change our mind, hold down Alt, release Alt, no insert, all gone. 
come down here select just a few tracks again hold down alt shift release alt shift go to plugin eq and now we have our air kill eq across just our selected tracks hold down alt no insert they're all gone of course this works on our stereo tracks i can hold down alt click choose an eq air kill eq now we got it across our stereo tracks another thing we could do is hold down alt click and go to multi mono and we'll choose say 11 free and that placed 11 free across every single track whether mono or stereo of course we wouldn't want that because it sucks all the cpu power out so we'll hold down alt and click no insert and takes them all away so you can really speed up your workflow by using the alt key to affect all tracks that are alike or the alt shift key to affect just the selected tracks another thing you can do with the alt key is hold down alt and say click your solo button on one track that puts all tracks in the solo hold down alt again click and remove solo from all tracks same thing works for mute hold down alt mute everything is muted alt click unmute them all uh, same thing for record hold down alt click everything's dropped into record pull everything out from record hold alt click they're all gone and we can do alt shift click record and it just places our three selected tracks into record we can go alt shift click solo drops just our selected tracks into solo alt shift mute it's just our selected tracks so if we so if we go through and mute and mute a few more tracks here that are not selected we can hold alt shift and click the muted button on our selected track that will unmute just our selected tracks leaving the other tracks muted hold down alt click all the mutes are turned off alt click all of our record enabled tracks are unarmed so the alt key and the alt shift key together can really cut down on the time it takes for you to perform everyday tasks in pro tools